Hello, Box World. Welcome to Boxing Block Center. Former undisputed heavyweight champion Lars Lewis has again talked about Joe Schwartz's father. He said on Twitter that if KSI and Logan Paul could make a two-fight deal. Joshua versus Wilder can do it. <laughs> I love in Chinese. You know, Lars Lewis. I think the guy leaving the fight is a word. You know, I like the guy. I like I like Lars Lewis. But sometimes, some comments that comes out from his mouth is laughable, and that's why I have to laugh in Chinese, guys. How can you compare? Two YouTubers who've got huge platform, okay. Listen, KSI has 19 million subscribers on YouTube. Logan Paul has 18 million subscribers on YouTube. Both of those guys are big, you know what I mean, on YouTube. I mean, in terms of YouTube, because I didn't, I didn't know, uh, I didn't knew who uh, K, uh, Logan Paul was, but I knew who KSI was before because. Case I've been following this channel for a long time I and mean, for many years. So I'm very, you know, happy for him. But don't compare pro boxers and especially compare a guy that has four belts and is the catch cow to a guy that only has one belt. Yes, two fight deal can be made. If Deontay Wara beats Anthony Joshua, then there will be a rematch. But not if Joshua beats Deontay Wilder, no. They wouldn't. Joshua will have to decide because Joshua is going to bring... Uh, is the one who is bringing the money to the table, not Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder hasn't gotten the 5 million paycheck throughout his whole career. Never gotten it, okay, for a fight. So how do you expect him to, you know, generate such amount of money without Anthony Joshua? In fact... This Tyson Fury fight, they are saying that he was going to make more money and this. Listen, just wait till the fight gets made. Americans, a lot of American fans, not fanboys of Dune to Water, lots of American fans are not interested in this fight. Okay? They know what's going to happen. They know the outcome. Fury is going to get knocked the fuck out in the third round. Simple. Okay? In fact, it could be the first round as well because Fury is not at his best. But against Anthony Joshua, you can see that Deontay Water is scared. That if he loses to Joshua, his career is pretty over. And there will be no rematch. That is, if Joshua decides to give him a rematch. You know, how do you expect a guy that have four belts and is the, the cash cow of the division has more followers worldwide than Deontay Water will ever have to give Deontay Water the advantage? Like... Make it, it's like you saying they should make it 50 50. It's not going to happen. I think Lewis Lewis should know that. I mean, why didn't Lewis Lewis himself rematch uh, Vitaly Klitschko? Why did he duck out? He ducked Vitaly Klitschko in the rematch. Let's be sincere right here. He ducked him. So, what, what are you trying to say? Because he, if, if, not, if not for the court, Vitaly Klitschko suffered in that fight. He was clearly winning that fight on points. On paper, he was winning that fight. And Lewis Lewis knows that. That's why they didn't give uh, Vitaly Klitschko a rematch. So that's my opinion, guys. I don't know what to say. Lewis Lewis, we all know the guy. He's a water fanboy. I respect him. He's a... You know, he's a phenomenal fighter. You know, he's done a lot for both for the sport of boxing. But we know he's a water fan boy. Okay? He believes water more than AJ does. So what do you want him, What do you want me to say? He's, he has been trying to tell AJ to go to America and make his name. And make a name for himself. Listen, uh, jo Anthony Joshua doesn't need America to make a name for himself. He's, he's already well known globally. Okay? If he goes to America, it's just to fight. 
Okay, Americans don't give a shit about the every division. AJ made them do so. Yes, and Joshua brought every division into the spotlight again. Okay, he brought it back. So what are you saying? Wilder was already pro for a long time, even before, even before Joshua turned pro. Tyson Fury was already was already in the game for a long time. After I beat Klitschko, we thought the every division will suddenly, all of a sudden, you know, you know, explode. We didn't. Until Joshua came into the scene. Then he did. So, let's call a spade a spade. Let's give credit where it's due. Joshua deserves a lot of credit for bringing the every division back to life. And now we will see top Prospects like Daniel Dubois, Ethia Jabba, um, Joe Joyce. I don't call him a prospect because, you know, yeah, he's still a prospect anyway, but the guy's been in the Boston game for a long time, so I'm not sure he's achieved a lot. And even Larissa Coley will one day become a Neverwit. And if these people are, if those guys are well promoted, the Everett Division will be in better shape. But if they are not well or good, promoted then is going to be in the same position you were a few years ago because to make a division boom you've got to have a phenomenal promoter behind you and all those guys like Daniel Dubois don't have a phenomenal promoter he only has Frank Warren the guy is all school already if you're Jaguar wish I'm urging him to sign with Eddie Hearn I hope he signs with Eddie Hearn or just sign with his own. You don't have to be an Indian fighter, just sign with his own. And get your name out there. And get a little promotion. In fact, the matchup between F. Jabba and Joshua and Andrea will be a sellout in the future. If F. Jabba's profile, you know, increases. Because right now his profile, yeah, people are getting to know who he is. But you still need that promoter, that phenomenal promoter behind you. Richard Schaefer is not a phenomenal promoter. He's just a regular good promoter. Finish. That's my opinion. You might like it, you may not like it, but it's my channel. And I think what I and I think about what's best for the fathers. So Larry Lewis, shoot. Stop living in the father's world. This is boxing. And it's not something you should play with. I know you've been a boxer. I know you were, you was on the last undisputed champ of the world. I respect it. But I'm just saying, when it comes to business, business is business. We Nigerians don't play with business. That's my opinion. So the Ontawala should accept the $15 million and fight. Simple. If you want to be the best, that you've got to be the best. And right now, Joshua is the best. No man can contest. Cheers, everyone.